Okay, I'm back with a uh, another XBMC demonstration here. Um, this time, and this is probably be a, uh, the first of a two-part video series discussing a program add-on for XBMC by the name of Advanced Launcher. With this add-on, you can uh, launch any application that is installed on your home theater PC from within the XBMC user interface. You can then do whatever you got to do in that program and return to XBMC in a seamless fashion. So. We're going to go ahead and add a PC video game into the XBMC library. And if you do that with, uh, with your various PC video games, you wind up with something like this. You got all the nice, gorgeous uh, uh, background images and box artwork, as well as the pertinent uh, metadata down below as well, the game descriptions and whatnot. All right, so again, the program is called Advanced Launcher. I'm not going to go into how to get that installed within XBMC. I'll leave a link in the description that will guide you through that. Um, but once you do have it installed, what we're going to discuss is how to configure it and actually get these items into your library. So once it's installed, navigate to Advanced Launcher, highlight it, get into the context menu, and go into the settings. By default, everything should look uh, um, pretty similar to this. Everything should be set up just fine um, for for scraping and adding a single PC game, but just double check and make sure that's the case. Um, it's a good a good thing to note the import mode. You can leave that to automatic and just clean up any uh, any loose ends uh, after the fact. So what these do then is scrape the various web-based resources for the artwork and metadata. So again, double check the thumbnails and the background art, the fan art. Make sure those scrapers look good and then just get into Advanced Launcher here. Now when you launch it up for the first time, you're going to have one category uh, by name of default. I already have a couple, um, and I've already created my PC game category, but in order to create your own, highlight that default uh, uh, category, get into the context menu, and create a new one. In this case, you'd want to create something like PC games or whatever. But since I have already done that, um, I'm just going to jump into that context menu. But what you want to do is in the context menu for your PC game category and add a launcher. In our case we're gonna launch a single executable file so we highlight that first selection and then navigate to the application. It's good to note that uh, this is good for not just video games but any uh, application that is installed so um, if you have something that you want to launch from within XBMC these steps would be just the same. Alright so we pointed to the executable file for the video game we want to leave the op application arguments alone, and on this next screen, we want to name uh, the video game appropriately so it displays uh, properly in the uh, library. Okay, and it wants to know what platform it is. It's a PC game, so select PC Booter, and then navigate to where you want to store your, uh, your artwork. If you don't have folders already set up, I suggest you do so, and then come back into XBMC and do this. It's nice to have everything in one location. So do that for both thumb and fan artwork. And there you have it. The game's loaded. Um, it's in the library. However, it's not going to have the metadata straight off the bat. So let's go ahead and add that. Highlight the game. Go into Edit the Launcher. You could try and get all of the information and artwork in one go with that top selection, but I'm going to go, go through and do it in a couple steps just to illustrate uh, how to do it manually if that's the case. Uh, the reason is that I already have artwork for this video game on my media server. So. Let's get the information first. We're going to import this from Game uh, FAQS, so one of the scrapers. Just select that. That's the title I want it to look, at for, look for, and it's already found it. Let's just specify the PC version, and there you go. We got the information down below. Let's now get that artwork. Change the thumbnail first. Again, I'm selecting a local file on my, uh, my network. There's the thumb for Surgeon Simulator. Now let's do the same thing for fan artwork. Edit Launcher, change fan art image, local image. Again, you could scrape for these if you like. And there it is. So now Surgeon Simulator is up and running within XBMC's library, and it has all the appropriate metadata uh, available as well. We'll go ahead and launch the game so you can get a look at how this interface works to go between the file and then back to XBMC. I've yet to play this game yet, so 
Hopefully it doesn't have a long-winded loading screen. No? Okay. Let's get out of here then. All right. Those controls were a little awkward. Okay, so we're right back in uh, Surgeon or right back in XBMC. So it's a pretty seamless experience. If you're looking uh, at uh, getting this set up with emulators and and ROMs for all you retro gamers out there, I'll get into that in the next video. Uh, just know that it is possible. So I'll leave a link in the description for that video as well once I get this uploaded. Until then, you guys take care. See ya.